Okay, I'm here with author Dr. Devin Tellis. Dr. Tellis, tell us about your um, your books. Okay, my name is Dr. Devin Tellis. I am a local author here in Birmingham, Alabama. This is an awesome event to be participating in. I am the author of all of these books that you see here. Um, my first series is called the Black Bright Beauty Bright Future mm -hmm. book series. And my books focus on um, social emotional learning. There's an undertone of that. And because I believe, you know, you have to educate the whole child. And it kind of starts with a reading at home. Mm -hmm. So all of those lessons are kind of woven into my books. Uh, I also pride myself in um, using black and brown characters as the main characters. Okay, cool. Because representation is everything. When mm -hmm. kids see themselves in different situations, they can begin to imagine and the world becomes their oyster. Mm -hmm. So I've really had a great time creating these books. I have children's books. I have a coloring and activity books to go along with them. I have journals. And um, I also have a publishing company. So it's called Blooming Books Publishing. And if you're interested in becoming an author, everyone has a story in them. I am here to provide that service to you as well. All right, well, Devin, thank you. And um, how can they contact you? So my website is Dr. Devin Creates. That's D-R-D-E-V-E-N Creates at gmail.com and I'm always open and looking for ways to partner with uh, organizations around the city. I love coming to schools doing read aloud either personally or virtually. So hit me up. I would love to work with you. All right, thank you Dr. Tellis. Thank you. Hold on. I am back. I'm here with author, let me, let me zoom in with the name, Jessica Norris. Jessica, how you doing today? Good, how are you? Good, so tell me about some of your, uh, your books. So this is Francine's first fish. It just okay. came out about a month and a half ago. Um, it was an idea I had four years ago, and it's Francine just goes on her first fishing adventure and learns a little bit about patience along the way. Okay, okay. I like doing Francine's first fish. Yeah. Here's some of the pictures. You can see it's very vibrant. Oh, cool. So tell me, what inspired you to get into writing books? Well, I love fishing, and we actually, my husband and I, Alan, I own a <laughs> kayak fishing retail store, so huh? we fish and for a living and a hobby, and uh, just really wanted to inspire young readers to get outside and enjoy the outdoors and also read more books, so. So I'm curious, what's the biggest fish you guys ever, you all <laughs> ever caught? Uh, I mean, I've caught decent size like fish in the ocean. Mm -hmm. But, 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 We're talking I about have bass, the biggest, you know, I have the biggest bass yeah, by she does. far. She, she got like a, a seven, seven pound, pound large bass. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. kind of similar to like Francine, you know, with her okay. big old bass. Yeah. <laughs> so do you have any other works, any other books you've wrote? Not mm -hmm. yet. Okay. There's some in the works for sure, but there's going to be a series So Francine <laughs> This is her first time doing a fishing adventure. She may do other things, and that will be like the adventure series. Okay, so if they want to get in contact with you, what's the... Yeah. You can go to norrisbooks.com. There's a URL down at the oh, bottom yeah, cool. there. Um, cool. Also, I'm pretty searchable on Facebook and Instagram, uh, but Norris Books, you can get in contact with the form there, and also uh, you can... Order books on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, Ingram Sparks, and coming soon to Target. Okay, well, thank you and congratulations. Thank you. Much ventures on fish, and hope we probably see a, a, a sequel of Francine's yeah. second fish, third fish, and more. Yeah, thank you. All right. Hey Birmingham, my name is Chisa Evans. I'm a local author here. I was, born, I was actually born and raised in Thompson, Alabama, but I used to be a member of Executive Women International. And I'm here at the Reading Rally here in Birmingham at the Vulcan Park Museum, celebrating reading and, reading and encouraging all of the elementary and young kids to be inspired from reading and writing and creativity. I am celebrating my first book as an author. My first book okay. is Doodleville Books, Doodleville Blues, and it is inspired by my own dogs that I have and my love for children and making sure that they don't have to compare themselves to anybody at all. Just focus on being the best that you can be, overcome your fears, and know that just like you have to struggle with your fear, the next person is too. So just walk in. Keep moving forward and just keep trying. That's what you're going to do. So, I encourage you to continue writing and celebrate.
So if they want to get in contact with you, what's the best contact? If you get my book. Thank you. Uh, I'm here with Kiera Ezell. So tell me about some of your books. Oh. So beautiful. Okay. They capture your attention on the first page. It's a hardback book. If you are interested in purchasing it, you can purchase it on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, and online on my website, which is my name, Thank you. So what inspired you to get into my book? Cool. Well, thank you so much. You. And if you want to support her, give them some that. Where to contact you again? Um, you can follow me on social media. Um, my name is Kier S E Z L on Twitter, Facebook. Also, my website is Kier S E Z L um, Also, if you're interested, like I said, you can go online to purchase Amazon, Barnes and Noble, Target online. I really appreciate the support. Thank you, and keep promoting literature. Back, I'm here with Rita Collins and what's your name, ma'am? Olivia. Olivia, Olivia, Olivia. So tell me about your books. Okay, so these five books are part of the series. I write for early childhood audience. Okay. And they are all science lessons. Okay. So the caterpillar turns into a butterfly. Okay. And the acorn turns into an oak tree. Okay. So each book starts with the egg, the seed, or the infant, and matures into the mature animal plant. So it's a science lesson. Called T. Maddie's Manners as an homage to my Aunt Maddie. Okay. She passed away last year. She was 100 years old. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. And she was obsessed with manners. Okay. And so I had to write, I had to write a little about her. That is interesting, Maddie's Manners. Man. Okay, okay, okay. So, what inspired you to get into writing books? I was a reading teacher. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I'm a little obsessed with books. Okay. Yeah. Books are my world. So, when I retired from teaching, I was a reading recovery teacher. When I retired from teaching, I started writing. Okay, so if they want to get in contact and purchase one of the books, how do you reach it? Okay. Well, I, thank you. Okay, cool. Well, that book definitely is good. Maddie's Manners. That, I'm definitely, definitely good. Well, thank you so much. I'm back with Anna Nash. Author Anna Nash. So tell me about your books. Okay, yes, welcome. So my name is Anna Nash, and I wrote this book for little children, newborn till about age seven or eight, and it's to help them understand God in their everyday world. So very simple, easy to understand, because I feel like it was challenging for young children to understand who God is, and they need Him as early as possible. So this is why I wrote this book to help little ones understand God oh. in their everyday world. Yeah. I love, I love the, the illustrations, the yeah, cool illustrations. These are done by my friends. So these are all the ways that they can see God in their everyday life. Yeah, it's pretty special. Yeah, so how long have you been writing books? Uh, a few years, not too long. This is my first children's book. Oh, wow. And a delight. I sure do love the children a lot. I really wrote it for my grandchildren. Okay. But I hope that other children will appreciate it too. What was your original inspiration for getting the writing books? Reading books to my little children about God that they could not understand. Oh, me! I was like, maybe we can do this. Maybe we can write it in words that they can understand. Okay. Well, I know we're out here at the event today, but if they want to contact you and reach out to you and purchase a book, where do they go? Thank you for asking. That's very important. Mm -hmm. You go to 
AnnaNash.net, A-N-N-A-N-A-S-H.net, AnnaNash.net, and you'll find everything you need to know right there. Okay, yeah, I'm going to zoom in a little thank bit so they can, so much, Carlson. They can see right there. All right, thank you, Miss Nash. And you all purchased the book, and what it's called, you, can't, you Can See Them. That's right, you can see them. Little eyes looking at a big guy. Yes. All right, I am back here with Arthur Negrita Smart. Arthur Smart, how you doing today? I'm doing well today. How are you doing, John? Great, great, great. So I'm glad I finally made it to your tent. So tell me about your books. My books are inspirational books. They are okay. based on principles from the Bible. Okay. Um, this is my first book. It's Raising the Golden Rule. Okay. I'll actually be reading that one today on the stage. Okay. It's based from the parable of the Golden Rule. Okay. Uh, followed by the second book in the series, which is Grace Loves Her Neighbor. This is patterned after the Good Samaritan. So both are patterned after biblical principles um, and still in values in children. That's the purpose. Oh, cool. So what was your inspiration um, in getting to writing books? My inspiration was to help instill some values in children. Um, we kind of shifted away from that, mm -hmm. it appears. So I wanted to do that. I was inspired by God to do that. Um, that's something that I've been I've been charged to do, and, and that's responsibility given to me. Okay, cool. So if somebody wants to reach out to you um, and get one of your books, where wherever do we find you? You can reach out to me by contacting me on my website. It's thegreetasmart.com. I'm also on Instagram, thegreetasmart, Facebook, author thegreetasmart. So easy to find, reach out to me, I love to connect with you. Yeah, because I like the bait, just the, you know, like, Grace and the Golden Rule, Grace Loves Her Neighbor Activity book. That's so neat. And third book um, is expected to be released February 2025, so be on the lookout for the third book. Okay, well, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, I'm back here with the author of Ten Toes Behind Jesus. I didn't get your name. What's your name? Brittany Humphrey. Okay, Brittany. So tell me, I mean, just that slogan. Let's start with that. Um, so, Ten Toes Behind Jesus started when I visited a church in Mexico and they needed more money to build their church. And I was in ministry while well, I still am. And so, God just dropped the idea sell t shirts, sell hats, merch. And mm -hmm. shortly after, I decided to write a children's book. With me running track my whole life, I wanted to teach kids some of the principles I did not follow, which is keeping God first even when He gives you the desires of your heart. So that's my story in a nutshell. With God, all things are possible. Okay, yeah, definitely like the merch. So where can they go? I know we had an event today, but where can they go if they want to purchase some of the merchandise? Tantosbehindjesus.com. You can also purchase the books there too. Okay. And yeah. Well, thank you so much. What's your name again? Uh, Brittany Humphrey. Thank you, Miss Humphrey. Thank you. And, and, and God continue to bless you. That's a, that's a good that's a slogan right there. <laughs> and, uh, you keep going. I was going to say, what, what's your Jarvis, name? Jarvis, what's happening in Birmingham? Okay, cool. Nice to meet you. Yes, yes, yes. You all go check out tentosbehindjesus.com. Yes, check it out. Purchase the merchandise, buy the books, cool. support it. Fanny Pat. Fanny Pat, too. You can't <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Brittany. You. Okay, what you need? Oh, I can say. Well, okay, I'm here with author Cedric Three. Um, love your books, brother. Tell me about it. Thank you. Thank you. These are my books. I have 23 books so far. Okay. That I have written on various subjects from bullying to literacy, social studies. But I travel to schools all the time and speak to kids, doing presentations, okay. puppet shows, poetry, even a little bit of magic. And I also speak at educational conferences. That's why I call myself Cedric the Edutainer. Okay. I educate and entertain. But yeah, I also speak at educational conferences to teachers, PD meetings, and things of that nature. Okay, so what, what, what inspires you again to write books? Having four children of my own, I used to tell them stories all the time. Okay. I would put their names in the story to make it a little more interesting. Oh, okay. So that's how I got started. Eventually started just taking some of my little sayings around the house and some poems that I wrote and turned them into children's books. Okay, cool. So if they want to contact you and purchase your books online, where do they go? They can go to my website, which is just my name, CedricThreat.com. Threat to spell T-H-R-E-A-T-T. Cedric3.com. All right, well, Cedric, thank you so much. Thank you. 
So, Lily Grace, tell me about your book. Okay. This one, I worked this when I was seven, and this one I worked when I was ten. This is about the importance of being here. Okay, okay, cool. So how many total books you've written so far? Two, okay. Oh, wow, okay. So if they want to purchase your books, Olivia, how can they reach out to you? Okay. I'll see the website. Okay, well, thank you. Congratulations. Good luck. So, feel inspired. Um, reading these books and writing these books and everything. Thank you, Olivia. Do you know what's happening in Birmingham? Download the What's Happening Birmingham app today on Android, iPhone, and iPad for free. Get info on everything you need to know about local news, events, businesses, restaurants, and more. Visit our website, what's happening bham.com or follow us on social media at happening bham for more information download the what's happening birmingham app today your source for everything birmingham